Namaste and welcome for this vinyasa flow. This sequence is a little bit shorter, but a little bit more intense and a little bit more challenge. Um, if you feel at any point it is too much for you, then just take a rest or leave out some parts. And otherwise, just enjoy to flow. Don't need everything to be right or, uh, as I said, just feel how you can move your body. We will start at the end of the mat in a child pose. So bring the knees a little bit further away. Sit back to your heels and then either you stretch your arms to the front or you bring the arms next to you or you bring the hands underneath your forehead. And then here, relax your shoulders and just arrive on your mat in your body. Let your breath become subtle and natural. Relax your face muscle, your shoulders, and the rest of your body. To arrive into the sensation of your breath, which is at the moment the only movement you can perceive. Take two more in and exhale here. Before we prepare us for some flowy movements. Mm, stretch your arms to the front. Spread the fingers. And maybe come onto your fingertips that the elbows are not touching the floor anymore. And the forehead is also not touching the floor. So the Head is in line and in length with your spine. Sit a little bit back onto your heels and then bring the shoulders away from your ears. So bring the shoulder blades together. So we activate this pose. Sit a little bit even deeper back onto your heels. Long spine, long side bodies. Mm. And then place the palms down to the floor. And then round yourself up into all fours. So you start by lifting up the, your belly that you really in a roundy, roundish shape come forward with the shoulders over your hands. And when you are here, then you start by tucking your tailbone, the lower back, middle back and upper back and that the heart is coming to the front. Feel your heart forward. And then you start again by the lower back, middle back, and upper back to round. One more time. From the back, so from the lower back, middle back, and upper back, you peel your heart forward. And stay here in this more arched back and sit back onto your heel in a arched back. Nice. And then we combine this. So round yourself forward with a round spine, shoulders over your wrist. And then from the lower back, middle back, upper back, bring your heart forward and then arch back, sitting onto your heels. Nice. Do this a couple of more times. So round forward and exhale, arch your back and sit back. Two more times in your own breath and in your own wavy movement. So invite this flow, whatever this means for you right now. Try to stay in contact with your breath. And then when the last time when you arch back, just um, tuck your toes under, sit back on your heels, have the same space in your, um, in your spine and in the side bodies and then slowly sit up into your downward facing dog and then here pedal out your legs a little bit that you feel the length in your back of the legs nice hmm. then bring the feet a little bit closer normally they are hip width distance now you bring them a little bit closer 
and then bring the left leg from your thigh on up to this ceiling like you can still see the toes and the toes pointing down so the hips stay squared. Bring the right heel a little bit closer to the floor. Nice. Then inhale here and with your exhale, take your left knee underneath your body and kiss your knee. Inhale, stretch your leg up and over, up to the ceiling. Exhale, knee underneath your body, kiss your knee, shoulders over your wrist. Last one. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, knee underneath your body. And this time, step the left foot in between your hands. Really nice. Bring the right knee down and point the right toe to the back. Inhale, come up with your arms. And exhale, make it two big circles with your arms to the back. Inhale. Exhale, second circle. Inhale, one more time, your arms up. And with your exhale, place your hands down to the floor. Tuck your toes under and step back into your downward facing dog. Nice. From here, we now integrate this wavy movement, what we did just before on hands and knees, into like a plank and down dog flow or wave. So just listen. You can come onto your finger uh, toe, toes, sorry, on your toes, and then you roll forward in a round form into a plank position, but round. So shoulders come over your knee. Um, hands and then you bend the knees just above the mat and then you start again from the lower back middle back upper back to arch your back heart forward and like this you sit back into your down dog come onto your toes and then round forward into a plank shoulders over your wrist bend the knee just above the, the mat and then middle back lower back Upper bed, heart forward, and then arch, sit back in your down dog. Nice. One more time. And arch back. Super nice. Then here, bring your feet one more time, a little bit more close together. And then now is the right leg, which comes up to the ceiling, toes pointing down, so the hips stay squared. Left heel comes maybe a little bit closer to the floor, press into your hands and create space in between your hands and your right heel. Inhale here, exhale, bend the knee underneath your body that you can now kiss the right knee. Inhale, bring the leg up and exhale underneath your body. Last one, inhale, leg up. And then exhale, knee underneath your body and step the right foot in between your hands. Lower the left knee down, point the toes to the back. Inhale, take your arms up and two big circles. Exhale to the back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, down. Inhale, one more time. Your arms up, open the chest, bring space in the front body. And exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Tuck your toes and this time step the left foot to the front next to the right. And then here take two breaths just to hang down in your forward fold. Breathe. And then bend the knees that when you inhale it's like a wave pressing into your feet bringing you all the way up. Take your arms with you, open, and then exhale, take your hands down in front of your heart. We do this two more times. So just bend the knees a little bit, and with your inhale, like a wave coming from your feet, up, open the arms, open the chest, and exhale, hands down to your heart. Super. Next one, inhale. From your feet, push up and open. And this time, this exhale is bringing you down to the floor in your forward foot. From here, step your right foot back onto your mat. Lower the right knee. Let the toes tucked if you want. Inhale, come up into your low lunge. 
and exhale, sink a little bit deeper into your hips. Open the chest and lower the, knee, uh, lower the shoulders. Inhale here. With your exhale now, sit your butt to the back that the left leg stretches long and the left um, foot comes up. And then you take the arms to the back, but heart stays open. The more you flex the foot, the more um, stretch you have at the back of your uh, leg. Then ground the left foot back down, take your arms up and over, open the front and exhale again back. Swing the arms to the back, always really aware movement. And last time, inhale, open. And exhale back. Stay for one breath here, feeling the stretch at the back side of your left leg. Nice. Then place the left foot back down. Open one more time your arms. And exhale, place the hand down right and left from your front foot. Bring your right knee up and step back into your down dog. Three times we will do our wave movement. So come onto your toes and round forward into a round plank. Lower the knees just above the mat. Look to the front, open the heart, arch your back and sit back into your down dog. Two more times like this and two more times in your own expression of this movement. And inhale into a plank. Exhale, sit back, down dog. Arriving here in your down dog, pressing your palms down to the floor. Maybe bring the heels already a little bit closer down to the floor. Not necessary. Nice. Then from here, we bring now our left leg again up to the ceiling. And this time we bend the knee, open the hip up to the left side, pressing both hands equally down to the floor that the shoulders stay quite squared. But the left leg, the left hip opens the groin area, the hip area. Now, with the exhale, bring the knee underneath your body, but to the other side. So bring the left knee to the right elbow. Inhale, open again, the hip to the left side. And exhale, hip, uh, left knee to the right elbow. Nice. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, knee to the right elbow. And from here, step the left foot in between your hands. This time, you can lower the right knee if you want, or if you want, come inhale up into your high lunge, sink into the left knee, maybe bend even the right knee a little bit, and pierce with your fingertips up to the ceiling, open the chest, and then stay here, sink a little bit deeper, and feel for three breaths, in a way, the movement by, from your breath. If your body stays unmoved, but really strong, you can with your breath, feel every small movement. Super. And then exhale, release your hands down. And rather than to step the right foot to the front, bring the weight into the left foot and then take the right leg a little bit up, like in an L shape. And exhale, place the right foot next to the left. Nice. Then inhale again, like a wave, come all the way up. And we will flow directly into the other side. So exhale, hands to your heart and flow down to the earth into your forward foot. This time the left foot steps back on your mat and release the left knee down. Step, uh, let the foot flex and then inhale, come all the way up with your hands or arms <laughs> and lower down into your high lunge. Open the chest here. Then inhale here, and with your exhale, you sit back, that the right leg is now stretched long, and the heel is placed on the floor, the arms coming to the back, that the heart is still open, and you stretch the right leg. Inhale, place the foot down, the right foot, and take your arms back up, low lunge. And exhale, sit back. 
Swing your arms with you. Find the balance also. Last one. Inhale up. And exhale back. Stay here for one breath. Open the chest. Flex a little bit, maybe your right foot a little bit more. Inhale one more time, arms up, low lunge. And exhale, hands down, right and left from your front foot. Pick up your left knee and step back into your down dog. Three wave movements if you want, or you can stay in your dog, or if you need a break, go into child pose. Otherwise, Come round forward, exhale, knees over, bend nearly over your mat and sit back. Nice, two more. Last one. Wonderful. We all meet in down dog. Now it's the right leg which comes up to the ceiling and then bend the right knee that you can open the right hip up to the right side. Maybe the left heel comes a little bit more down and press equally in both hands. Inhale here, exhale, bring the knee crossed underneath your body to the left elbow. Really try to touch the elbow, nice. Inhale, take your leg up and exhale underneath, cross to the left elbow. One more time. Inhale and exhale. From here, step the right foot in between your hands. Option to bring the knee down or inhale, come up into your high lunge, lower down into your knees. Bring the fingertips up, but the shoulders down and observe the inner movement of your breath. Nice. Then inhale here, exhale, lower the hands down, bring the weight onto the right foot and just take the leg, the left leg up like in a L shape and place the left foot back to the right. Bend the knees and let this wave go through you that you can come all the way up, take your arms with you. And exhale, hands down to your heart. And then take some breath here, maybe with your eyes closed to just feel your breath, feel your heartbeat, feel all the movement and flow in your body. And then we will flow one more time, right and left, with some additional things. <laughs> Inhale, take your arms up and over. And exhale, bend down into your forward fold. We start with the right leg, so right foot steps back. First, lower the knee. Toes can stay tucked. We know this already. Inhale, come up into your low lunge. Open the chest. Exhale, sit back in this half Hanumanasana. Open the left back leg. So stretch here. And then from here, we will go directly into high lunge. So place the left foot down, bend the left knee. And when your arms come up, you also take your right leg up, your right knee up. And then open your chest here. Inhale one more time. Exhale. Take the hands down, right and left from your front foot. This time, step back into a high plank. So step the foot, feet both back and take one breath here. Tuck the tailbone down so you are really active here. Then inhale here and exhale, lower down in Chaturanga. So knee, uh, elbows close to your body and lower all the way down. Bring the forehead down to the floor. Stretch the toes to the back and bring the hands outside your mat. Then three times we will do this like a cobra movement, but with a flow. So inhale, come up into a small cobra and exhale like your heart is sinking down to the floor. Inhale, come up, cobra movement. 
Exhale, heart sinks down to the floor. And one more time. Inhale up. Exhale, lower down. Beautiful. Lower the head. Bring the hands right and left from your uh, chest. Tuck the toes. And then sit back and up into your down dog. Then the left leg comes again up to the sky. Open one more time the, the hip to the left. Bring the right um, heel to the uh, floor. And then from here, you bring now the left knee to the left elbow. So same side. Come with your shoulders over your hands, knee to the elbow. Really try to touch. Inhale, back up, open. Exhale, knee to the same elbow. And open. Nice. Last one, left knee to the left elbow. And then stay here. Bring the left foot to the right side and bring the knee in between your hands that you can slide the right foot to the back. So we are in a high pigeon here. So lower the right knee down. You can let the right foot, uh, foot um, tucked. Come onto your fingertips that you can really peel your heart to the front. And exhale, lower just a little bit. Three times like this. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, lower down. Super. Inhale. And exhale. And last one. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, bring the palms down to the floor. Fingers spread wide. And from here, we come directly back into our three-legged dog. So press into your hands and stretch the left leg one more time up to the ceiling. And exhale now, take the knee underneath your body and step the left foot in between your hands into your high lunge. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, sink down. Release the shoulders and open the chest. Tuck the tailbone down that you are not too much in an arched back. Inhale here and exhale, bring the hands down to the floor. Bring the weight onto the left foot and then take your right leg up either into this L shape or take it a little bit higher, like nearly into standing split or whatever you feel good here. And exhale, lower the right foot down to the left. Bend the knees and inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands down to your heart center. Wonderful. And then we do the other side. With your inhale like a wave, come long and open, open. Exhale over your heart, sink down to the floor. Take this time the left leg back on your mat, lower the knee, let the toes tuck, and inhale, come into your low lunge. Exhale, sink down into your hip. Inhale here, and exhale, sit back so the right leg comes straight. Flex the right foot, bring the arms to the back, open your heart. And then lower the right foot down. And when you take your arms up, you come up into your high lunge. Exhale, stay here, open the chest, open the heart. Exhale, bring the hands down, right and left from your front foot. And step directly back into a plank. Stay here for one breath. Take the belly button in and up and tuck the tailbone down. Inhale here. Exhale, lower down. Three, two, and one down. Uh, feet pointing back, toes pointing back. Hands at the outside of your mat. Three little cobra movement. Inhale, come up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Last one, inhale up. And exhale down, nice. Bring the hands next to your chest. Tuck the toes and sit back and up. Downward facing dog. Catch your breath. 
fingers are flexed, uh, widespread, and palms is facing down to the floor, to stick to the floor. Now it's the right leg comes up, open the right hip, up, 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 left heel maybe to the floor. And with your exhale, bring the right knee to the left, uh, to the right elbow, sorry. Same, same. So right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, open again your hip. Exhale, knee to elbow. And one last time. Inhale, open. Exhale, knee to elbow. From here, bring the foot to the left side and the knee in front, in between your hands. Slide the left foot a bit to the back, that the knee can come down to the floor and come up onto your fingertips. Inhale here and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. One last time, inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and then place the hands down to the floor, sp uh, spread the fingers, bring the uh, the palms facing down and we come directly into our three-legged dog press into your hands right leg comes up 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 and over yes and then exhale step the right foot in between your hands inhale come up into your high lunge sink deep down into your knees bring the fingers a little bit higher and let the shoulders drop down inhale open the chest Exhale, bring your hands down, uh, bring the weight into the right foot and left leg comes up either in an L shape or open your left leg a little bit longer, up, 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 nice. And with your exhale, slide the left foot back to the right. Let the knees a little bit bend. When inhale, you come all the way up and exhale, gather everything down into your heart space. And then here, just feel your heartbeat under your thumbs. Feel your breath. And feel the flow within you. And the last little flow brings us back to our mat. Bend the knees a little bit, inhale, take your arms up and over, and exhale down to your mat in your forward fold. Step both legs back to a down dog, and either you stay here or bring already your knees down, or go three more times into our wavy movement. So come onto your uh, toes and round forward into a plank, then bend the knees, Open the chest and arch back. Two more times if you want. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. And then stay here for two breaths, feeling this ironing out, this yeah, to come back into a neutral position for your spine and stretch again the legs, the hands down to the floor, feeling the breath in this shape of your body. And then lower the knees down to the floor and sit your butt back into a child pose, bringing the the forehead down to the floor and relax your arms. Take two, three breaths here to catch your breath, to feel into your body. Then slide your hands to the front of your mat that your hip can come up over your knees and you come into this anahata asana, so the hands are the arms are long at the front. Either you bring the forehead down to the floor, or if you if you like it also, you can bring the chin down to the floor. I cannot do it for my microphone. 
And then feel this nice stretch for our shoulders, for our arms. Let the heart really sink down into your mat. Like it's melting down to the floor. And then sit back onto your heels. And then slide the hands back to your knees that you can come up into a seated position. And then from here, you come all the way up onto your knees. Take your arms with you up and over, and then hold with your right hand the left wrist and lean to the right side, stretching the left side of your body. Inhale up, exhale change, lean to the left, stretching the right side. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bring your hands at the back of your lower back. So here, the lower back. Bring the shoulder blades together, elbows pointing to the back. Activate your thighs and activate your belly button. And then bring space into the front by leaning slightly back, but press the hips to the front. So the hip bones stay to the front and you lean a little bit back, still looking to the front. And then take one full inhale to the front of your body. And exhale, release, sit back onto your heels. Place the left hand into your lap and the right hand as well. And then close your eyes. Close your eyes and feel what is flowing within you. Feel your heartbeat and all the sensation your body is giving you right here, right now. Relax your face, the shoulders, and let go of all tension, of all challenges, of all movement. Just here now on your, on your mat, with your breath, as an internal movement. Stay in this position as long as you wish. Or if you feel you need Shavasana laying on the mat, on the back, or in whatever position you want, then please do so. I say thank you from my heart that we practiced together, that we, flew, uh, we had a little flow together, and hopefully see you next time. Thank you so much. <laughs>